Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are live again for Philadelphia. Raw's been to Philadelphia for 50 million years now. DIY kicking it off again. Champa Gargano. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring. You guys have been great as a tag team since they do. DIY. Uh, well, they were actually the first tag team pick in the uh, draft. So called clearly has something going for them. And they're trying to build their momentum up from last week when they beat Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Looking at that, here comes the Ascension. Their first match on Monday Night Raw. Longest reigning NXT Tag Team Champion. They've competed in numerous matches on SmackDown. They won some, they lost some. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 487 pounds, Victor and Connor, the Ascension. The Ascension. Again, like I said, longest reigning tag team champion. It's their first match on Monday Night Raw. And we've actually seen them a fair amount of times in Universal, I'm not gonna lie. We have uh, seen them a lot in our four seasons of Universal, including that inaugural SmackDown title tournament. They beat the Dudley Boys. It's shocking. They almost made it to the finals, but they were eliminated by, I believe it was American Alpha. So DIY versus the Ascension. We are gonna get underway here as both men. Oh, and now, and now Johnny Gargano reverse Rana there to start off the match. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa, trying to, per you know, perhaps build up to a future. Raw Tag Team title opportunity. The Ascension, hit. this is their first match on Raw, so they have something to prove as well as Gargano. Nice, nice uh, takedown there from Johnny. This is how Johnny Gargano has, I believe this is, uh, this is Victor. And here we go, I was up to the corner. And look at this, bam, the running knee. And plus he kicks it out, back of the head. Champa going in for the cover now. He's looking, no. Almost gets it. To that one champ, another running knee. And the DIY coming out here hot to start out this tag team matchup. And perhaps, uh, Perhaps, like I said, they, they can build some momentum for themselves to get a potential Raw Tag and Title opportunity. The, the Revival beat the Usos, who, who competed in two matches that night and did, and, and did the smartest thing possible. Came, they came right out, came right out, right after the first Tag Team Title match or the first uh, tag team match. They came, they came right out, challenged the Usos. And they were able to retain the tag team championship. And you know the Usos won a, another shot at those titles as well. And now Snapmare takedown from Tommaso Ciampa. DIY all over the ascension here. So start this matchup. But wait. Oh, look at this. Connor able to fight out of it. And now Connor trying to get the ascension back into this matchup. Suplex there. There from, I'm sorry, Victor. I'm sorry, this is Victor, not Connor. Connor is currently standing on the apron. 
Victor now. That's Champa in the corner. Here comes the big man, Connor. Oh, big kick to the gut. It's an uppercut. So, yes, yeah, you know the Usos want to be vying for Raw Tag Team Championships. Referee got knocked down. The ref literally got knocked down. Connor tags in. Tag. Oh, my God. He tagged in Victor. Oh, my God. That was a pretty nice, I guess, combination. I guess you can call it a combination. Nice over there by Victor. Victor now looking. No. Not even close. Didn't even get a one count. So, ever since the draft, the Revival, still your tag team champion. They're only, uh, they're only, their only title defense post draft was against the, was against, um, the Usos at Extreme Rules. But the Revival has been two time tag team champions. They've been probably, probably a combined 190, 180 days. I have to do the calculation still. But, um, yeah, nice strategy here by the Ascension as they are doing Iris Richards to the rope, tagging in and, and then catching them before they get to the other side and then the other guy tags in. He's fresh and he's ready to go. You've never seen that before. I've never seen that before, personally. Here comes Connor, the big man. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, again. Face first. Goes Tommaso Champa. Champa is in. Champa's in heavy trouble. Right hand. No. Champa counter. Champa with the right. Has him backed up against his own corner. Champa with the running knee. And then another running knee by Champa. Champa taking it back there. Nice. Nice. Uh, nice toss there by Champa. And then another running knee to Connor. Trying to get the big man down to his feet. He is indeed down. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God! Driving the knees into the back. Oh my goodness. And now Champa, oh, turning to Victor, but Victor, Victor hitting, hitting Champa, but the referee saying, no, 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 you are not the legal man. You are not the legal man. And now, oh, he's taking advantage of Champa. Unbelievable. And now Champa in the corner. Oh. Got that boot right, right to the face of Tommaso Champa. Connor cannot be happy about those knees being driven to his back. He's just angering. Just, just angering the big man more. Oh no. Here we go. I was in the corner. Oh, and then a double axe handle. Oh, and another kick to the gut. My God. Will he tag? Will he tag? Here comes Johnny wrestling. Johnny Gargano. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He mistimed. Oh, he mistimed the kick. And Victor able to take advantage. Johnny Gargano completely, completely missing the kick. Now, now, now Victor sends Johnny. Oh, but, oh, but Johnny, Johnny able to quickly escape. Able to quickly escape. Knocks down. Oh, my God. Knocked out Connor. Gargano's going to the top. Drives the knees. Drives the knees. One. Oh, and a kick out at one. Connor has been knocked down. 
Johnny Gargano drove the knees in. And oh, head first into the turnbuckle. Head first into the turnbuckle goes Victor. And now Johnny doing, oh, I have no clue what Johnny's gonna do there. Oh, finally, he gets him to the corner. Uh-oh, do they wanna meet in the middle? They do, meeting in the middle. Meeting in the middle, Gargano, Hurricane Rana prevents Connor from breaking up the tag and DIY wins here tonight. Johnny Gargano, Tommaso Ciampa are victorious here tonight. And brought ourselves some great momentum for a future Raw Tag Team Championship opportunity. We're gonna get on to our next match now. Becky Lynch will be in action against Billy Kane. Uh, Becky Lynch. In action here tonight. She sounds a bit of a cold start on more than that role, but I'm not thinking I'm worried about it. It's, it's, way to the ring from she's off to a bit of a Becky little, you know, shaky Ray. start here on that role, but I'm not, I'm not worried, okay? She was the second overall pick for a reason. Becky Lynch will bounce back here tonight. I guarantee you that, ladies and gentlemen. She lost to Carmella. So she, she uh, uh, does not get an opportunity to be in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Which um, has to be a little bit disappointed for Becky Lynch as uh, she is one of the front runners for the Women Evolution. Perhaps she wanted to make more history, but Carmella beat her fair and square in the middle of the ring. And she will be going one on one with one half of the iconic. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce, your role in this champion. And her opponent, accompanied by Peyton Royce, representing the Iconics from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Billy Kay, she does, she does have a victory here on Monday Night Raw. She's, she's, she's uh, been in one match, one match on Raw. She's won it. She defeated Oscar, so she's one of the few people that has. Defeated Oscar. Peyton Royce has victory over Becky Lynch. She has victories over many other superstars. That's why she is, you know, your Raw Women's Champion. Tilly K. She's uh, not. She's probably. I don't want to say the worst out of the two, but Peyton Royce is definitely better when it comes to the in-ring action. I'm not taking anything away from Peyton. I'm not doing anything with Billy Kay. That's why, you know, the bell's around Peyton Royce. Peyton Royce, you know, I mean, she's, she, she's, she's a pure, you know, she's better in the ring. That's what I'm trying to say. She's better in the ring than Billy Kay. That's why uh, the SmackDown guys put so much emphasis on Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Oh, and Billy Kay going out strong here with a bunch of elbows, kick to the gut. Becky Lynch didn't like that. Comes flying right back with a forearm. It's now, oh my God, Becky Lynch. And she did not, she did not take those slaps well at all. I'll tell you that. Now Becky Lynch, now a DDT. And, oh my God. Elbows just flying all over the place right now to kick off this match. And Becky Lynch again. And this is and this is this is exactly what I was talking about. That momentum, but Peyton Royce. Oh, Peyton Royce, Roman champion, distracting Becky Lynch. Oh, and a shot. Huge knife head shot there by Billy Kay. Pulls it back, gets off. And now Billy now on the second rope. Billy Kay now on the second rope. 
Lee jumps up. Oh, she's caught by Lynch. She is caught by Becky Lynch. Oh, nice. Nice body slam take down there from Lynch. Now Lynch is going to the top rope. She is more of the high flyer here in this matchup. She's waiting for Billy Kay to get up. And oh, beautiful Hurricane Rana by Becky Lynch. Beautiful Hurricane Rana by Becky Lynch and another elbow takedown. And now, and now, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God, man, she's staring down. She's staring down at Peyton Royce. She's staring down at Peyton Royce, but I don't think, I do not think, I do not think Becky Lynch can touch Peyton Royce, or she will get disqualified here. And now, oh, and now, oh, the referee telling Becky Lynch to get back in the ring. She has her focus on Peyton Royce on the outside for some reason. And Billy Kay again able to take advantage oh my god and now in powerbomb formation oh no face first you gotta be kidding me ref at a count of four now ref at a count of four oh and again becky lynch still her focus is on billy k maybe she wants that role in this championship that's why she's so focused she is a two-time women's champion in her own right. So she knows exactly what it's like to be champion. Billy K. Tornado DDT. She is looking to end it here. Oh. Once kicks out before the ref even gets the count going. And Billy K getting the best of Becky Lynch here so far. Another, another takedown there. Now Billy K going to the top. Billy K going to the top. Nice splash. Slash take down there. Here we go. Two. No. Becky Lynch. Near fall there. For, for Miss Billy K. Oh, elbow misses. I don't know how the elbow missed. I have no clue how she missed that elbow. Oh my God, she was right there. The spin probably wasn't needed. The spin definitely was not needed at all. Oh, a suplex there by Becky Lynch. Lynch now. Lynch now going for the cover. One, and the kick out at one. Now, now Becky has him. And that, oh, and that scissor, you know, drives, driving those elbows into the skull of Billy Kay. One half of the Iconics. Oh, the Exploder. The Exploder, but look at this. Peyton Royce on the apron again. Peyton Royce on the apron once again. Russian leg sweep by Billy K. Again, K taking advantage. K taking advantage. Roll up. Roll up now. One, two. Oh, and another near fall. Another near fall. God, and a slap in the elbow. Really, Kay. Really, uh, really, you know, having at it with Becky Lynch here in this match. She is once again measuring Becky. Oh, no! Counter! What a counter by Becky Lynch. And now, oh, the arm bar's locked in. Will Billy K tap? Billy K has nowhere to go. She's not moving. And she has to tap. Becky Lynch is victorious. What a counter by Becky Lynch. And she is victorious here in this winning matchup. Becky Lynch victorious here tonight. It's time to get on to our main event, the best of three between Aleister Black and Kevin Owens. This is match number two. If Aleister Black wins this one, it will be a clean sweep, and Aleister Black will face Seth Rollins at Money in the Bank. All right, guys, it is main event time. Aleister Black versus Kevin Owens in our best of three. That Stone Cold set up. Best of three. Alistair Black sees a lot of position now. Alistair Black, Kevin Owens picked towards the top 20. He was in the top 20. He was in like the bottom, 
bottom half of the top 20. He was, I, I believe he was like number 16 or 17. So, but Stone Cold knows what Kevin Owens can do. He had had a had a great run at NXT. He had a great first year. He feud with you know John Cena, Eddie Styles, all that. Kevin Owens has a lot of potential here. But Alistair Black making his way to the ring. If he wins this next match, very, very unlikely tactics to try to win this matchup. He will do anything to win. KO now on the top. What in the hell? Oh my God! If he hits this, it is over. Oh my God! Unbelievable. And KO just wants it to end. Oh my God! He's taunting. He is taunting. Alistair Black. Oh, but wait. Look out! Oh my God! A little too much taunt there, Mister. Mr. Kevin Owens. A little too much taunt in there. Bam! And then a spinning knee. That spinning knee. Oh, wait. And now. Oh, my God. And now look at. Look at this. Gosh, it needs to the back. This little, uh, uh, this little, you know, it's not a, it's not a, you know, sling blade, but it'll look like it. It'll look like a sling blade a little bit. It's a half ass sling blade. Without the sling, I'm gonna just call it a, a standing blade. And now Black, Black going to the top, hits the moonsault. Alistair Black hit the moonsault, and oh, the rolling senton. And the, oh, the springboard misses. The springboard misses. Can you believe it? Right back when the attack is Kevin Owens. Oh my God. What a main event match here on Monday Night Raw. Man. Kevin Owens just resorting to any and all tactics that will lead him to victory. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Not again. Not again. Oh my God. How many more shots? How many more knees to the back of the head? Kevin Owens, pop up power bomb. It is over. Kevin Owens wins. It is 1-1. One, one. Kevin Owens is victorious and we will have the tiebreaker next week. The winner will face Seth Rollins for the Universal title. Alistair Black on the losing end tonight. If you guys do this video, sure to slap, like, subscribe. Until next time, I will see you guys on SmackDown Live.